today is more difficult to stay competitive than ever with your digital product. In February alone, approximately 52,000 mobile apps were released through the Google Play Store and 37,000 mobile apps were released through the Apple App Store. That's in a single month. Welcome startup founders and product managers and UI UX designers. This video is dedicated to anyone looking to elevate their digital products. But it's good that you're here because we'll be looking into key UX design principles and I'll give you practical and actionable strategies to refine your user experience. So stick around for a clear understanding and tips that will give you the best shot to design an app that will stand out. User centricity. It all starts with user-centric design. By definition, means placing user needs at the forefront. So this can dr dramatically shape your product. When you're designing your product, start early in the process with user interviews and surveys. So, so real insights, you know, will come from real users early. A great way to kickstart the right thinking and approach in Lean UX. It's inspired by Lean and Agile development theories and covers user centricity with great examples and insight. Usability. Now listen here. Usability isn't just about looks. It's about ease actually. So usability is essentially how effectively a user can interact with a product to achieve their goals. So within a certain context. Design for relevance. Every feature must hit the relevance mark. So missing it means missed opportunities. Before coding begins, validate your feature's demand so you can do A-B testing and feedback on prototypes. And ask yourself often, is this you know, feature relevant? Or maybe even better, ask the user, is this feature relevant for you? So this will allow you to focus more time and effort and money, of course, ultimately, uh, to what matters for your users. Embrace accessibility. Designing for all includes considering those with disabilities. So it's more than a moral imperative, it's wider market reach. I'd highly recommend to familiarize yourself with uh, WCAG. So simple changes can dramatically expand your user base. Maintain consistency and familiarity. Consistency is not just comforting, it's crucial. Like Spotify's UI shines with it, ensuring their product aligns seamlessly with standards of uh, different platforms while maintaining a consistent design across all devices, you know, so, you know, from mobile apps to smart TVs. So there's a lot to discuss here, but if I were to suggest one thing, is to understand the design patterns and differences between iOS and Android. Okay, it seems like we are halfway through. If you enjoy so far and you feel like you learned something today, I hope you'll consider giving this channel a subscribe and like this video. Okay, let's continue. Establish a clear hierarchy. Clarity in your design's hierarchy aids usability. It makes navigation intuitive and not a treasure hunt for the user. Give users the safety net to make mistakes. But beware, too many options can be the opposite can paralyze rather than empower. And that gets me to my next point. Minimize cognitive load. Keep it simple to keep them engaged. So overloading the screen will often make users feel frustrated and can lead to abandonment. Think twice before adding you know, another message to your screen. Design for context. Context shapes user needs and expectations, right? So tailor your design to fit the moment. Is your user going to be outside on their bicycle? Are they either likely to use the app when running, for example, or will they be maybe on the couch watching TV? Always seek user feedback. The road to perfection requires feedback. So iterative design based on user insight is key to continuous improvement here. So in the description of this video, I listed a couple of tools and websites that are actually excellent choice for gaining user feedback. Implementing these UX principles is not just, you know, a step towards better design. It's actually a step toward user satisfaction and obviously revenue with it. So integrate these guidelines into your work. The path to an excellent product is through constant iteration and openness to the user feedback. For more insights into creating impactful user experiences, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you into the next one.